What if I told you that China has just built an AI chip so powerful, so efficient, and so shockingly cheap that even NVIDIA investors are starting to panic? For years, NVIDIA ruled the AI world with no real challenger, but Huawei, the company Washington tried to crush, has returned with a new generation of AI chips that rivals the performance of NVIDIA's H100 without using a single line of American technology. Today, we're diving deep into the specs, the politics, the numbers, and the truth behind the headlines. Is Huawei really catching up? And what does this mean for the future of global AI power? For years, Huawei was described as the tech giant that the United States successfully brought to its knees. In 2019, when Washington launched one of the most aggressive sanction packages in modern history, the goal was clear. Cut Huawei off from advanced chips, choke its supply chain, and force the company into long-term decline. Analysts predicted Huawei would fall behind the global semiconductor race by at least a decade. Many even believed the company's chip division, High Silicon, would simply disappear. But six years later, Huawei is not only alive, it is threatening NVIDIA's dominance in artificial intelligence. So how did this happen? The story begins with a radical internal shift. When sanctions hit, Huawei quickly realized it couldn't rely on the same business model that made it successful. Instead of fighting to keep its smartphone market share, Huawei poured billions into a long-term bet, domestic compute power. The company doubled its R&D spending, redirected thousands of engineers toward AI chip development, and formed strategic partnerships with China's state-supported semiconductor ecosystem. In other words, Huawei treated sanctions not as a death sentence, but as a forced evolution. One of the core pillars of that evolution was the Ascend chip program. Originally designed as a side project within High Silicon, the Ascend chips suddenly became Huawei's survival line. The goal wasn't just to produce a chip, it was to build a replacement for NVIDIA's AI GPUs that China could rely on, even if it never again had access to Western technology. Huawei shifted from competing in the consumer gadget market to competing in the global AI infrastructure market, a move that completely changed its future. By 2023, the world was shocked when Huawei introduced the Ascend 910B, a chip manufactured by SMIC using a restricted 7 nanometer process that foreign experts claimed was impossible to achieve under sanctions. Yet the chip not only worked, it performed impressively. Chinese benchmark tests showed it approaching NVIDIA's A100 performance, especially in inference tasks. Suddenly, it became clear that Huawei wasn't rebuilding, it was leapfrogging. Even bigger was the strategic shift that followed. Huawei didn't try to copy NVIDIA's ecosystem. It built its own. New compilers, new AI frameworks, new server architectures, and entire data center clusters tailored to Ascend chips. Rather than fighting NVIDIA globally, Huawei focused on dominating China, the world's largest AI market. And that decision is exactly what transformed Huawei from a sanctioned company into NVIDIA's first real competitor in a decade. Before we compare Huawei's Ascend lineup with anything NVIDIA builds, we need to understand just how dominant NVIDIA truly is. No company in the last decade has shaped the direction of artificial intelligence more than NVIDIA. Its GPUs became the backbone of every major AI model, from ChatGPT to MidJourney to Tesla's autonomous driving systems. NVIDIA didn't become a trillion-dollar empire by selling fast gaming chips. It became the uncontested ruler of AI compute. At the center of that empire is the H100, the most advanced and commercially successful AI processor in the world. Built on TSMC's cutting-edge 4 nanometer process and powered by NVIDIA's proprietary Tensor Core architecture, the H100 is a monster of parallel computation. It can train language models with billions of parameters in record time, and for companies like OpenAI and Anthropic, it is essentially the gold standard of AI development. The sheer demand for H100 chips pushed NVIDIA's valuation past giants like Amazon and Google, something unimaginable just a few years earlier. But the real secret to NVIDIA's dominance isn't raw performance, it's software. NVIDIA spent more than 15 years building CUDA, the world's most comprehensive GPU programming ecosystem. CUDA is to AI what Windows was to the PC revolution, the underlying platform everything depends on. Every major AI framework, every research lab, Every cloud provider uses CUDA. 
It's so deeply integrated that replacing NVIDIA hardware isn't a simple upgrade. It's a complete rewiring of modern artificial intelligence. And this is where Huawei faces its greatest challenge. Even if Ascend chips match NVIDIA in hardware performance, they still need to overcome NVIDIA's software monopoly. That's why NVIDIA doesn't fear small competitors. The barrier to entry is simply too high. Companies aren't just buying chips. They're buying the entire NVIDIA ecosystem of tools, libraries, drivers, network switches, and infrastructure level optimizations. NVIDIA's next generation chip, the B100, takes this dominance even further. Early benchmarks suggest it delivers up to four times the AI performance of the H100. Major players like Google, Meta, and Amazon have already placed orders worth billions, locking themselves even deeper into NVIDIA's world. But here's the twist. While NVIDIA controls the global AI market, China operates differently. Due to US export restrictions, many Chinese firms cannot legally buy NVIDIA's best chips. This means Huawei doesn't need to defeat NVIDIA globally. It only needs to dominate inside China, the fastest growing AI compute market on Earth. And that's exactly what Huawei is doing. Now that we've set the stage, it's time for the question everyone wants answered. How do Huawei's Ascend chips actually compare to NVIDIA's H100 and B100? The truth is more complicated and far more interesting than most headlines suggest. Let's start with the fundamentals. NVIDIA's advantage begins with the manufacturing process itself. The H100 and upcoming B100 are built using TSMC's advanced 4 nanometer node, something Huawei simply cannot access due to US sanctions. Meanwhile, Huawei's Ascend 910B and the rumored Ascend 920 are produced by SMIC using a makeshift 7 nanometer process. On paper, this should create a massive performance gap. Smaller nodes mean higher efficiency, more transistors, and better thermal behavior. But Huawei doesn't play by the same rules. Instead of trying to match NVIDIA transistor for transistor, Huawei optimized differently. In internal Chinese benchmarks, the Ascend 910B delivers performance surprisingly close to NVIDIA's 100. The upcoming Ascend 920 reportedly reaches 70 to 80% of H100 performance in specific AI workloads. While this may not sound like a full victory, it becomes far more impressive when you consider three critical factors. Power consumption, cost, and availability. 1. Power efficiency. Chinese data centers report that Ascend chips consume 20 to 30% less power during AI inference, the phase where models are actually used, not just trained. Since inference represents the majority of real-world AI workloads, Huawei's efficiency gives it a long-term advantage across millions of deployed servers. 2. Cost Competitiveness NVIDIA's H100 costs between $30,000 and $40,000 per GPU. The B100 will likely be even more expensive. Huawei's Ascend chips. Some configurations start below $10,000. Even high-end models rarely exceed half the cost of an H100. For Chinese companies under pressure to reduce reliance on US tech, the price difference isn't just appealing, it's decisive. Third, availability inside China NVIDIA faces export bans. Huawei doesn't. Every Chinese tech giant, from Alibaba to Tencent to Baidu, can buy Ascend chips freely and at scale. NVIDIA's best hardware is either restricted, delayed, or downgraded for export. Meanwhile, Huawei's products are becoming the default option. Is Huawei ahead of NVIDIA? Not globally. NVIDIA still leads in manufacturing, training speed, and ecosystem depth. But inside China, where demand is exploding and NVIDIA is blocked, Huawei's Ascend platform is evolving into a powerful, cheaper, scalable alternative. This isn't a technological victory, it's a strategic one. To understand why Huawei's rise matters, you have to step back from the silicon and look at the geopolitical map. This is no longer just a commercial rivalry or a battle for faster chips. It has transformed into a full-scale geopolitical confrontation. The United States sees advanced AI compute as a national security asset, and NVIDIA is at the center of this strategy. For Washington, Controlling access to the world's most powerful GPUs means controlling the direction of technological progress itself. That's why the US imposed the broadest semiconductor export restrictions in modern history. It banned NVIDIA's H100 and A100, then extended the ban to downgraded models like the H800, and even tightened the rules again in 2023 and 2024, 
to restrict anything that could help China train frontier AI models. The intention was to cripple China's computing capacity for the next decade, but the result was the opposite. Every round of sanctions pushed China deeper into self-reliance. Every restriction accelerated domestic innovation. Every attempt to isolate China strengthened Huawei's role. China responded by launching one of the largest industrial mobilizations in its history. State-owned enterprises, provincial governments, cloud giants, and military research institutions all received a clear directive. Replace foreign chips with domestic ones, no exceptions. Tens of billions were allocated to Huawei-aligned projects, new fabs for SMIC, expanded R&D centers, AI data hubs powered by Ascend clusters, and AI factories capable of supporting national-level compute needs. And here's the consequence. NVIDIA didn't lose a competitor. NVIDIA lost a country. China once represented around 25 to 35 percent of NVIDIA's global demand. Today, most of that demand is shifting to Huawei permanently. Even if the U.S. softens restrictions, which it likely won't, China will never again build its critical AI infrastructure on foreign technology. But the geopolitical ripple effects go even further. China is now exporting Huawei-based AI solutions to regions outside U.S. influence, the Middle East, Southeast Asia, Central Asia, Latin America, and parts of Africa. These countries are eager to adopt AI but cannot afford NVIDIA systems or prefer not to rely on U.S. suppliers. Huawei offers them an entire end-to-end -end alternative ecosystem, cheaper, power-efficient, and not restricted by Western licensing rules. Two parallel AI worlds are forming. One built on NVIDIA, centered in the US, Europe, and Western allies, and another built on Huawei, spreading across China and the global South. This isn't just a tech rivalry, it's the beginning of a technological divide that could reshape global power for the next 50 years. So what does this all mean? Huawei's AI chips are not merely a technical achievement, they are a geopolitical statement. A company that was supposed to collapse under sanctions has rebuilt itself into a genuine challenger to NVIDIA, the most important semiconductor company on Earth. Huawei didn't match NVIDIA transistor for transistor or try to copy its ecosystem. Instead, it built a completely separate AI universe, its own chips, its own software, its own data centers, its own supply chain, and now, for the first time in modern tech history, the world is splitting in two. NVIDIA still leads globally. No question. Its H100 and B100 define the frontier of artificial intelligence, and every major Western AI breakthrough depends on them. But inside China, NVIDIA is being replaced, pushed out by force and by strategy. And as Huawei scales its influence across Asia, the Middle East, Africa, and Latin America, its parallel AI ecosystem is growing faster than anyone expected. This isn't just about chip performance. It's about who controls the future of intelligence itself. If you want to stay ahead of the global shifts shaping technology, power, and economics in real time, make sure you're subscribed, because the AI chip war has only just begun, and the next chapters will be even more explosive.